Covenant is a fantasy action webcomic created by Explody Kid on Webtoon Originals, and it's currently going through a load of drama because Webtoon staff did something to this comic that not even I can believe they actually did. Let's get into it, boys. In a previous video earlier this month, I discussed the fact that all should steer clear of the Webtoon Originals contracts entirely. Reason being is because they're incredibly predatory on a basic fundamental level, even by the standards of average comic book and webcomic publishing programs. Not even a whole month after that knowledge was made public, and here we are, and some crazy news has gone down that the creator of this Webtoon Original has publicized. Like I said, Covenant is a fantasy action comic created by an author that goes by the name of Explodekid on Insta, as well well as the webcomic giant that we all know and definitely do not love. This comic in question is easily the author's baby. He's been working on this thing way back when it was just his personal passion project on Webtoon Canvas back in 2019. That's half an entire decade this dude has been passionately working on this single project. Awful news aside, I personally find that single thing to be kind of heartwarming to see, considering that statistically this comic does appear to be a very successful series. Sporting its own assistance, painstakingly working working on every single panel and so on. So, it's extra soul-crushing to find out what happened to this comic here. Explody Kid, more than happy with the success of his long-running webcomic, decides he wants to branch out a little bit and make physical copies of his comic available to purchase on Amazon. After months of printing, production, and other extra steps, these physical copies were ready to be sold and shipped, and he began advertising the physical copies of his work around Chapter 78 on the Webtoon Original in the credits along with his usual tags, links to his Patreon, his assistants, and etc. But wait, there's a catch. After updating his comic, he couldn't help but notice that all of the credits to his comic were missing, with nothing else in the strip being tampered with. Obviously, this could not have been an uploading error on Webtoon's website because only the credits have been removed, and it goes without saying that an artist for a long-running comic strip, let alone an entire squad of artists, would never forget to add their own freaking signatures to the end of their work. So Explodekid is sitting here wondering what the hell is going on up until he finds out directly who did this. Webtoon staff themselves. They personally forbade this author from advertising his physical comics launch, and thusly decided to straight up censor all of the credits for his and his entire team's work. Now, if you know anything about my channel, or have even looked at the thumbnails of a few of my YouTube videos, you can probably guess that I do not have a very positive opinion on Webtoon as an entire platform. But even I would never, ever expect Webtoon staff to do something like this. Because this? This is straight up defacement. From what I can vaguely understand, it appears that Webtoon upload policies have been updated so that properties and products advertised that are not in relationship or cahoots with Webtoon as a corporation are not allowed to be advertised on original strips. So, essentially, Explodekid is not allowed to advertise his own work on his own comic strip simply because Webtoon is not capable of making money off of it themselves. This is an extremely gross and petty act, and after what we learned regarding their predatory contracts a couple of weeks ago, it's pretty clear that this is all just designed to make every single user and worker on Webtoon be as codependent on this platform and only this platform as possible. I mean, what other explanation is there for this? Straight up punishing and forbidding users from using outside sources for support. Creating a contract system that essentially puts a freaking collar around everyone's necks and their own comic IP. I cannot stress how much of a scummy act this is, man. Honestly, it's so stunning that I didn't even bother to think about how much stress the author must feel going through all this BS. And then there's also how much money could be potentially wasted on all of this simply because those comics that took so long to get printed may not even see the light of day for most readers. Boys, on the real, do y'all even know how much effing money it costs to mass print a comic book? Even the mass production of a short, small one takes legit thousands of dollars. Ask Dan Van. After finding this all out, Explody Kid has decided to make a vent thread on his Instagram explaining to his fans this situation, passionately hurling his building frustrations towards Webtoon regarding this situation. And you can really feel this dude's restrained anger towards the webcomic giant over the years erupt here. According to this multi-image post, this isn't even the first bit of drama this dude's had, butting heads with the platform over the new age rating systems, raised denials, and etc. 
While it is natural to occasionally have dilemmas that need to be sorted out with higher-ups when you work for such a large company, all the knowledge being unearthed lately is showing off that this is way more than just small issues. What this is, is Webtoon growing more and more predacious. They're growing more parasitic. Look, Webtoon is a company. Companies solely exist to make money, and that alone in a vacuum is perfectly fine, but there's something genuinely gross about this business's methods of making money. Because these goddamn people know for a fact that comic creators are all starving artists just waiting for someone to give them the deal they need to make money off of their dream project. They know that they can get away with just feasting on innocent artists who want to make a name for themselves via contractual exploitation. After all, it's Webtoon. This entire situation is insane, and even as I do my lines right now, I still can't believe Webtoon would actually just straight up censor one of their own creators for something this effin' petty. So, um, yeah, I guess I can try to help and ask you guys to go buy this comic here, but yeah, I, I, yeah, that's that's the best I can do. The only thing I personally believe is that this author deserves better after all of this nonsense that Webtoon is putting him through. At the end of these little Webtoon story videos, I always like to think we can walk away with a lesson to learn from this. In this video, I think the lesson we can all gather here is very simple. Never trust Webtoon. And also, more importantly, try to develop a following and a standing and a platform all on your own. It's very important in this day and age that you should do that. All the tools available to advertise and promote your work are available to you right now. All the tools available to make money off of your work are available right now. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is going to take far, far longer to get your name out there, but it's way better than signing a deal with the devil, i.e. this parasitic company. And that's gonna be all for this one, boys. This is Blacklight Jack signing out. Have a good one. It's time for the Patreon Roll Call. My $10 supporters are Art Blocked. Candid Monkey, Charlie Kieran, Cycloid, Daniel Ivy, Phydra Galaxy, Jack G, Joseph Vincent, Kazu Cool, Klutzy Ninja Kitty, May Soratami, Mayabi, Pai Yan, Skyer, Sindrin 7, Spooky, Stormy Night, and Vincent Lundy. And of course, let's not forget our $5 supporters. They are appreciated just as much as our $10 Patreons. If you'd like to be in the credits of my videos as well and have access to a small library of ad free, uncensored videos, Videos, all you gotta do is support me with $5 on Patreon. Thanks for watching, boys. We'll see you next time.